Welcome back. The price of the cryptocurrency Bitcoin has surged sharply since Donald Trump won the US presidential election last week. Investors have been furiously buying the currency, but also buying into exchange traded funds and other crypto related assets. Joining me now is Adrian Shalobsny, the co-founder and group chief executive of the crypto exchange Independent Reserve. Adrian, thanks for your time. Just explain the link here between Trump and the crypto markets. What's got them so excited? Trump loves crypto and crypto loves Trump. Um, I mean, it's it's obvious that, uh, you know, ever, ever, ever since um, mid last week, the price of Bitcoin has gone up tremendously. I think it's up around 28% last time I checked. Um, one issue that um, the cryptocurrency markets have always had is that they've operated in an environment where the governments were either um, either they didn't quite care about them or they were openly against crypto. So this is the first time in the history of crypto where we're about to get a president in the US that has openly basically said that he's going to uh, actively support the industry, that he's going to change the chair of the SEC to be more crypto friendly. And we're, we're about to enter an environment where there's um, a certainty around the industry in the US and everybody's expecting this to result in a lot more um, investment in the industry, which will most likely result in more innovation, more use cases and just wider crypto adoption in general. Yeah, you mentioned Trump pledging basically to get rid of Gary Hensler, the head of the Securities and Exchange Commission, basically Australia's America's equivalent of ASIC. And he said he's going to do that the day he arrives in office. Do you think that's actually going to happen? And if it does, what, what would it mean then for crypto? Who would they actually put in there to run the SEC? So my understanding is he doesn't actually have the power to do this. Yeah. But if I, I mean, it's, it's hard to see a chair of the SEC remaining in an environment where the president openly does not like them and has openly said that they should be fired. So I would expect a change in the tune of the SEC. I would expect a new chair, whether it's on day one, day 10, or what, um, um, I'm not sure when, but I, I would expect that to happen quite soon, early next year. I don't know who the new chair will be, but I think it's fair to say he's likely to have a more pro-crypto view than you know what we've had over the last few years. Yeah, is there anyone that the industry is lobbying for? I know the outgoing SEC commissioner, Hester Pierce, she's been pretty positive on crypto, but I think her term is meant to wrap up at some point next year. Do you think Trump could potentially convince her to hang around? I really don't know who it's going to be, but I know everyone in the industry is very excited to have anyone that is not Gary Gensler at this point. <laughs> Overall, though, I mean, could Trump really invigorate the crypto markets here and result in the currency being more widely adopted, bigger interest as well from institutional investors too? Absolutely, and I think he already has. I mean, there's a reason for the excitement, and not just in the crypto markets, but other markets as well. Um, he is widely viewed as a pro-business president, as a person who gets things done and a person who gets obstacles out of the way. And that's, that's you know, what the industry really needs right now. And um, I think that's the reason for the excitement. And, you know, also on top of that, we're entering an environment where interest rates are beginning to drop around the world in the US. We've had two drops in the US over the last uh, two months. Um, and it's widely expected that there will be more drops early next year. And crypto prices tend to um, react quite well when interest rates begin to drop. Uh, we're in an environment where ETFs went online earlier this year, so it's opened up the demand to institutional adoption that's never really been here before. And of course, we had the halving, um, you know, uh, I think, uh, around um, eight months ago, um, which, you know, what normally happens is that um, a few months after the halving, the price begins to react because there's less new Bitcoin entering uh, the ecosystem. So with all these things combined and an administration in the US that's pro-crypto, it's kind of a perfect storm. All the, like everything's aligned for the markets to do very well into next year. Yeah, and on the flip side, what do you think might have happened to the crypto sector if Kamala Harris had won the election last week? 
I think we probably would have had a short-term blip. But, you know, if you think long-term, no matter which government is in power, they're likely to expand the monetary base. They're likely to have um, a policy that encourages more inflation. And in the long run, um, that, that tends to do quite well for asset prices and especially Bitcoin. So I think if you have a long-term horizon, it probably wouldn't have mattered that much. But right now, there is huge excitement around Trump. Well, Adrian Shalosny, Group Chief Executive at Independent Reserve, thanks for coming on the show. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much for having me.